Hey, thank you so much. Now, new at 530, a burglary spree has residents on high alert in several Burlington County towns. These thieves have struck in Delran, West Hampton, and Moorestown. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco is live with all the details. Diana. And Natasha, police believe that these thieves are watching homes, waiting for the homeowners to leave, and that is when they make their move, getting inside quickly, and they know exactly what they're after. A high-stake jewelry heist in Moorestown. Police say last Saturday thieves snuck in while the homeowners were away and took $100,000 in jewelry from the second-floor master bedroom. It happened on the 900 block of Borton Landon Road. My daughter's wedding was on Saturday, and the, they were at our wedding. So that's what uh, we came, they came back and found out that their house had been broken into. Neighbors fear the thieves were watching the home. They busted through a deadbolt on the back door while the alarm system was disabled because the homeowners were having work done. That's very upsetting. You know, you, you know, there's only so much you could do. There have been at least four similar break-ins in Moorestown since the end of June in the neighborhood near Creek Road, less than a mile apart from each other, and others like them in Delran and West Hampton in the last week. Those departments are all now working together. The method of entry uh, was consistent with Morristown. That's still being worked on. But I do think that they may be linked just based upon the type of items that were taken. You know, they're going right for the jewelry. Police have stepped up patrols and they are asking neighbors to take precautions, stop mail service when going out of town, set appliances to timers to give the appearance someone is always home, and keep an eye on your neighbor's house. Now I got a deadbolt, I got, I got a firearm, I've licensed uh, for a pistol. You, know, you, you, you get ready, because right? yeah. you never know. Now, should all of these burglaries be related, these thieves have already gotten away with more than $100,000 in stolen jewelry. Police tell me that they do have several leads that they are currently working, but they are asking all the neighbors in these affected areas to report anything that looks suspicious. We're live in Morristown tonight. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS3. I